Hi everyone, my name is Micah and thank you so much for joining me here today at Punch Needle World. As the popularity of Punch Needle grows, digital punch needle patterns are becoming more widely available in a variety of sizes and styles. Knowing how to transfer printed paper patterns to your own backing fabric at home will save you money and allow you to access the full range of pattern options that are available online. In today's video, I'm going to show you two methods that you can use for transferring your pattern to your backing fabric. The first method uses a light box, which you can purchase at most art supply stores or online retailers. And the second method simply uses a window. So let's do it. For the light box technique, if your pattern is a square or rectangle, the first step is to trace your border. Remember that your monk's cloth will stretch a little bit once it's on the frame, so your final piece will be a little larger than the pattern. Turn on your light table and tape the pattern on top. Lay the monk's cloth on top of that and use a pencil or a sharpie to place a dot in each of the four corners. Now, to actually draw the border, we're going to move the monk's cloth off the light table, lay it flat, and connect the dots with a pencil, dragging the pencil within a single channel of the monk's cloth to create a perfectly straight line along the grain of the fabric. If you'd like your outline to be darker, you can repeat tracing these lines with a sharpie, again, making sure to stay in the channel the whole time. Now, return the monk's cloth to the light table laying it on top of the pattern and matching up the border so that the pattern fits nicely within it. Tape the monk's cloth down with masking tape. Now, using a Sharpie, trace the design onto the monk's cloth. Start with the outlines and larger shapes and then work your way towards the smaller details. And now you're done. You're ready to stretch your monk's cloth on your frame and get started punching. For the window method, if your pattern is a square or a rectangle, the first step is to measure the dimensions of your border and transfer these to your monk's cloth. Lay the monk's cloth on a flat surface and measure and mark where you want your first corner to be. Using a ruler, measure the length from that corner to the next. Mark the next corner with another dot and repeat until all four corners are marked with the dot. Remember that monk's cloth will stretch once it's on the frame, so the final piece will be a little larger than this pattern. Next, connect the corner dots with a pencil, dragging it within a single channel of the cloth to create straight lines and corners that are perfectly square. To make your border lines darker, repeat the process with a Sharpie. Now, instead of the light box, tape your pattern to a sunny window. Line up the monk's cloth on top of the pattern, matching up the border so that the pattern fits nicely within it. Tape the monk's cloth in place on the window with masking tape. You may need a little extra tape here to keep it straight. Now, using a Sharpie, trace the design to the monk's cloth. Start with the outlines and larger shapes and then work inwards towards the smaller details. And there you have it. Two methods to transfer your printed digital pattern to your monk's cloth. The first using a light box and the second using a sunny window. Now you're ready to stretch your backing fabric on your frame and get to punching. 